Well, a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley still in the dark days after a tree took out a power line and they are dealing now with these cold temperatures and spoiled food. KKL News reporter Tina Patel live in Studio City with why it is taking so long to get all of this fixed. Tina. Well, Jasmine, what many people are learning after this latest storm is that it's not always clear who is responsible when a tree or a power line comes down. People who live in this neighborhood tell me they hired a private contractor yesterday to start cutting this particular tree up. So now it's out of the street, at least. But power has still not yet been restored. We are on Arch Street, just off Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. This tree came down Friday evening, knocking out power to most of the homes on this street and several of the businesses along Ventura Boulevard. Now, the residents who were affected were told DWP could not repair the lines until the tree was cut down. But since the apartment complex where the tree was located still has power, the management company has not been acting with urgency to take care of that. So neighbors have been in the dark for three days now. No hot water, our fridges are out, our food is rotting, no gas, no electricity um, yeah. for about 50 hours now. Yeah. yeah, freezing cold. It's warmer out here than it is in our apartments. Well, the latest series of storms has caused hundreds of trees and power lines across our region to come down, some because of the saturated ground, others because of high winds. The city of Los Angeles says they've gotten more than 1,700 calls themselves just between Wednesday and Sunday. Now, trees on city property, they are the city's responsibility for cleanup and repairs. If a tree is on private property, that's where it becomes more complicated. What you should do if it affects you is to at least call the utility company because they need to come out and see what happens. They also need to tell you whether these lines are still live, so at least you know whether you can walk or uh, drive around the bound down lines. The people who live in this neighborhood are hoping that these repairs will at least happen today or tomorrow. Fingers crossed that there's no more trees yeah. that come down with the next series of storms. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, it is. And you mentioned a very dangerous job for those utility workers as well. All right, Tina, thanks so much.